something that women say to me all the time. Why don't you make your husband a sandwich? Okay. Is he hungry? Does he want a sandwich? <laughs> like, it, it, did he say something? I make my oh. husband food the last four nights. I've made my husband dinner. Like, I don't understand this weird maker. Like, they, they are trying to shame women for taking <laughs> care of their families. Like, it's ridiculous. That is another element of feminism that I cannot stand. There's, yeah. It's an attack on family and these things that work. It, it works. Right. Men are biologically unable to have children. So the aspiration to climb a ladder forever, to wake up every single day and, and not have to worry about being pregnant pregnant for nine months, I mean, that makes sense. We're, yes. we're different creatures, you know? I think that's like a troll though, no? It's like, all you're good for is like, yo, make me something to eat. I, 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 listen, feminists are the originators of sign language. Shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right, RIP to KS. And the thing is, is that they have shamed modern women today to not wanting to please their man or take care of their families. It's ridiculous. Let's proceed. No, they, that whole concept came from rabid feminists. Like there was something wrong with being in the kitchen, right? Oh, okay. And this was sort of this push of women get out of the home and go to work, which has made so many women miserable. So yes. many women miserable. When Kenneth is talking about making women miserable, she's talking about the social coercion that feminists impose on modern women today with this independent woman boss bee syndrome. Many feminists say that you're setting women back by saying that they may become miserable if they choose that career path. But what I'm saying is that women should be allowed to choose and not be shamed for not choosing that career woman lifestyle and choosing to opt for a soft life. Like you really just should have paid for all our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's Even food. It's your birthday cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why don't you got to pay for all y'all food though? All right, so it looks like it's her birthday. There's 18 of y'all. I don't know why there's 18 outside of there right now. Maybe he's just using a bit of hyperbole of why he should not be paying. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, listen, birthday aside, Y'all fought for equality, right? <laughs> like, or is it just equality when it benefits you? It's not equality when it comes to men still having to pay for all y'all meals. Is that what y'all saying? Let's proceed. You brought 18 friends. I'm finna leave you. You staying here with them or you coming with me? You, are you? Whoa, bro! Yo, how is it your birthday, but you're demanding your boyfriend's pockets for you and all of your friends? And being her friends, why would you go to a meal knowing that you cannot pay like don't y'all have jobs but jens listen to me if you have an entitled young lady like this you have to understand that not only does she not understand the concept of money or the concept of hard work and earning your money but then also she is the type to prioritize her friends or her echo chamber over you this is why it's important for all of you guys to understand why you should never be a simp because she's using you and she has no respect. If you treat her like a star, she will treat you like a fan. But you are just her provider. And what's crazy is, is that women like this will want you to do all of this for her. But meanwhile, has a Tyrone or a Pookie or a Chad up on the sidelines who's providing her complete and utter service to her innards. But for you, you're just a provider. And that's what I would say to all of my gentlemen who are particularly successful in life or are good options because you could be so much of a good option for these young women or do really well for yourself, make a lot of money, is that you could be too good of an option if they do not respect you. Meaning, you could be their beta male provider and then in return, you'll get their time, attention, and pity vagina. But then on the sideline, she's got a Tyrone waiting in her call log that blows the back out on command. But she expects nothing from that guy. She didn't make that guy wait three dates for anything. All right. But you were too good of an option. So she leverages her sex in order to control you. All right. But Jens, understand if she treats you like this, she's not even just for the streets, but she's for the universe, the multiverse and the omniverse. We'll be over it. How long like, do it take you to get there? It's my birthday. Like, you should have went all out. I don't even have no food. Hell, I mean, there. shit. Like, what I had to pay for your food for? You don't want to Bro, you, you should have paid for a food, though. Uh -huh. If you supposedly got the check, spin it. Uh -huh. Fuck it. I can't believe you doing this on my birthday. Mm. Who even paid for any of y'all? Look, like, like, did y'all pay for any of her food? I ain't seen none of them all for the paper. How? You, you chill with them all day. Okay, okay. Um, 
My spidey senses are tingling. I'm starting to think that this is a skit now. All right. Not only is the acting terrible, I saw the dude smiling as he's giving his lines out. Uh, but then also the girls in the background are like oddly in the camera shot. And they just, it just doesn't look like it fit. Like, it, it, they don't look mad, really. It's just bad acting. Anyway, what I think they're trying to communicate here is the average degree of entitlement amongst modern women today. Like, if you switch the genders, this video wouldn't even make sense. Like, a dude walking out all upset because the girl didn't pay. Like, it, <laughs> it wouldn't even make sense. And I also think it works is because there's many men today that have faced similar situations. Maybe not paying for 18 of your home girls, but men as we go through kind of who's at the bill trust and believe that most men are doing math in their head of kind of what they can afford can you afford the whole bill even with your homegirls are there this is something that goes through most men's heads but to those men i say listen is your girlfriend gonna let you go up inside those girls too no we don't pay for them they have a job just like you have a job they brag about being the most educated, which actually isn't true. We've gone over those, <laughs> those numbers before, but they are more educated than black men on average. So with that being said, they should have the means to afford their own meal. And if your homegirl is hanging out with young ladies that think in that thought pattern, then that is a red flag for your girlfriend. Because who do you think your girlfriend is gonna go to for advice in times of conflict? Her illogical friends. So trust me, gents, it's way more drama than what it's worth. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. I know. Um, so many women in our office have the exact same problem. You know, we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now, which I blame all on the AC. Um, and so it's just so actually quite nice to see this research. Um, it's just such a relief to know that there's actually proof that this is happening, that women, you know, do feel the cold more than men, and that the AC in offices is normally regulated more for a male's temperature than a woman's. <laughs> the title of this video is Why Office Air Conditioner is Sexist. The very thought that this is a conversation that is happening purely and utterly mocks our existence as human beings on this planet. I don't know if you guys even picked up on this as well, but did you guys see what she calls herself? Telegraphs wonder woman writer really y'all over there calling each other wonder woman <laughs> that's worse than calling all women weeds. call them all wonder women for existing writing and having a job complete and utter bullshit but let's get back in and it's an explanation for these constant battles you'll see in offices right across the country uh, between the sexes for control of that office thermostat yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, one of the biggest problems is that often in offices, it is men who control temperatures. You know, that's just something I've found anecdotally. Um, and She's a fool. the majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures, you know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. And, you know, often like actually nothing's being done to help them. And, you know, it might sound like a bit of a silly, lighthearted it is issue, but actually silly. it's really uncomfortable being freezing at your desk every day. Put on a jacket! Put, go in there with some long sleeves on! Put some pants on! Do things to fix your situation as opposed to just complain about this shit. What? If a man yawns, a feminist will be complaining that he's taking all the air away from her. Just imagine the first word privilege of even being able to argue about the temperature in an office when there are homeless people outside without access to thermostats. Being a feminist is a first world privilege. If you drop a feminist in a third world country, complaining about the temperature in the office will be the last things on their minds. Let's proceed. Um, take it from me. No, I, I, I know I experience the same because what I've often found is you go in on a really hot summer's day, you're wearing summer clothes, you go into an office and it's absolutely freezing. Uh, I think even for some men it must be too cold. I don't understand why air yeah. conditioning is often so cold. So what you have to do is then take a jumper in with you and put that jumper on in order sure. to be able to function. Sure. Yeah. Honestly, I think so many women listening now are going to just be nodding their heads thinking, yes, that is exactly my reality. You know She's a problem. Yeah, because the newscaster said even men experience cold offices. And then she responds back, oh, so many women. Da, 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 da. 
You just like to make everything a woman's problem. I understand. We joke at work that we actually can't dress fashionably anymore for summer because you actually just can't go in in sandals. You can't go in in a summer dress because you're going to have to put on the jumper or the emergency cardigan. Um, so, yeah, it, it is quite frustrating, especially when you then go out on your lunch break or your commute home and you're absolutely boiling outside. And I think there is a bit of a problem when it's warmer outside than it is inside your office. So what's the solution then? Because we can't have men overheating in the offices, can we? No, I think we just need a bit more flexibility. You know, I think it is just essentially common sense. So if, you know, an office is noticing that a number of women are complaining about the cold, they need to be more flexible. You know, they need to actually kind of lower it and not just say that all oh, the men are fine. You know, now there is actually proof that this is this is actually an issue. I think they need to kind of take women's considerations into account and you know what, maybe there can be more flexibility with men not having to wear suits in some offices and they can come in in t-shirts or whatever they need to be the right temperature. It's called work attire for a reason, madame. And depending upon the type of office that you work in, it projects professionalism. But on the other hand, you are more worried about staying up with the summer fashion trends as opposed to being professional. Men have created such a fluffy society for these women that they're now complaining about the temperature in buildings, one of which they didn't build, and one of which also that they don't do hard or physical labor in. This is textbook first world problems and I'm sure a problem that women would latch on to because it paints them as a victim of some patriarchy dominating the society today by any means necessary as demonstrated by the office temperature. Give me a break. Sean. I know. I don't want to be in this anymore. I, get I it. want out. Mm -hmm. I want a divorce. Mm -hmm. I understand. Do I you know. understand? I do. So what do you want? Chicken delight? Mixed fajitas? What do you want? Why are you even freaking asking me? You know what the hell I get at every restaurant that we eat at. Chicken Seriously? delight? Side of queso? Chicken delight? Yeah. Chips and salsa? Uh-huh. Queso? Queso. And I want a frozen strawberry margarita. Extra tequila? One extra shot of tequila, yes. I got you. Okay, then we're, we're good then. All right. Stoicism 101, when they try to get a rise out of you, don't react. You're, you're going to have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? Yeah, and you're out there, yep. and I compliment you in that way. Anyways. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're going to have to get After off the aircraft. After they made us wait and wait and wait. Yeah, that's the way it is, but right now I'm going to need you. And that's fine, and I will respect that. Okay, so I'm going to need you to grab your bag and just and stuff off the aircraft. And I did not do aircraft. anything, actually. Just respect the aircraft. We'll take the aircraft. Grab your stuff. Have your stuff, get you off gonna, the aircraft. Can I trust you? Listen, have I touched you yet? I'm trying to get you off the aircraft. That's all we're trying to do. To a control situation. If I get off the plane, no. you said you wouldn't arrest me. Uh, uh, first of all, it's obvious that the alcohol is of use within this situation. Second thing is, is that it doesn't look like it smells very nicely uh, where he's <laughs> where he's standing right now. The third thing is, is that guys do understand this, is that the quickest thing that women will try to do is to act like they're being harmed or hurt within, you know, situations like this, situations where they need to get, be moved, right? Where, they, where they're trespassing, where they're in your crib and you want them outside, please, Either A, make sure that there's cameras around you within you and your space. So this is documented, right? Make sure that, you know, your phone in your pocket, you know, you click on that video button and have it somewhere on your person or just from an audio perspective to give more information towards you before you get caught up. But you see, she just tried to do it there as well. Like, nah, mama, there's no type of disrespect that's happening. You have to get your drunk ass off of this flight so the rest of the passengers can get to their destination. And by you lollygagging, you were holding up that process. But when men are evolved, they will always try to evoke this victim shit because they know the power of insinuating that a man is assaulting them. It's truly unfortunate for women that actually go through assaults within our society and women that do it in a way to try to manipulate, shame on you. Let's keep going. So you as a cop should have to honor that, yes, right? Yes. right? No, person. you should though. You should have to honor that. That's my right. Don't talk to the doctor and tell him we need to remove no, it. it really is though. That's my right. It's like you need to. No, we're getting what to the point where you're not expecting. Get off the plane. 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 Get off the
That dog like she crazy as hell. <laughs> Get her off the flight. Let's keep going. How do I see this Tom, shit? And you Tom, honestly acknowledged me for a moment right. and then you didn't. Leave your hands there. Why did you do Oh, that? she needs like a razor that. underneath the armpits. Like in the eyes you Is give me, you you give her like She's oh, earthy. You, you know you're fighting for a system that isn't oh. just for you all. Oh. You do. You know that. You know that. Oh. You really do. And if you don't, then that's it. Wow. Oh. I'm like, hey, have a seat. Bro, Watch your head. Oh, God. Shut up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's the end of the compilation. They will cry, they will crick, they will scream. No, you will be held accountable for your actions. Get off that plane and enjoy your night or evening in jail. Even though she probably won't even get that, she'll probably get a slap on the wrist. Studies actually show that there's a gender difference from a sentencing perspective. For example, women that are charged with drug crimes are far less likely to be put into prison as opposed to men. It's an unfortunate reality of our society that we have such a focus on equality, but the feminists are not fighting for sentencing equality. I wonder why that is. I'm getting sick and tired of you pranking me about this booger in my nose. I hate this type Excuse of me? That's an American Man, thing. I'm a, I'm a that is not a Trinidad a thing, and that is not my I'm type a, of humor. I don't know where you come from. Keep your hands to but yourself. The environment I come from, we keep our hands to ourselves. Facts. So right? I can't do that? So, Check her. So what nope. I'm gonna tell you is. Can't do that either. Stop. Oh, you know she's crazy. Right? Keep your hands to yourself mm -hmm. and watch your tongue. Cause I can literally pull over right now and you'll be taking an Uber for the rest of the ride. Home. Yeah, you set your boundaries. Hey. No, I'm gonna give you a serious hit. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Pull over. About to get off right here. Oh, there you go. Pillow, you, you have to be a madman to stop a decided dude like this. Yeah, this is the highway. Just because I give you a little tap. Yeah. She's still doing it. You thought I was joking. She called him a madman because he's pulling over to the side of the road because he will not tolerate the disrespect. Meanwhile, she's a mad woman because she hit the brother not once, not twice, not three times, but four different times. And three times after he asked her, to stop. Shout out to this brother right here. You passed her shit test with absolute flying colors. Gents, understand this. Never allow a woman to put her hands on you. She's testing you on how far she can disrespect you. I don't care if it's playful and jest. I don't give a shit. Never allow it. You check her immediately. And at the point that you check her, if she chooses to continue to do it, then she doesn't respect you. And sometimes that level of the respect has nothing to do with you. She's just a disrespectful person. And maybe because she's got pretty privilege, right? That men have allowed her to get away with that disrespect previously. But you hold her accountable, you stick to your guns, and you follow through on your word. How dare you fold up your arms like a little pestilent child or a toddler for your bad behavior. Never let them shame you into allowing disrespect. Remember that. Man, this shit don't make no sense, bro. It don't make no sense, bro. What is you talking about? You know exactly about? what the I'm talking about. Don't sit there acting stupid because what you sit up. What are talking about? Bro, this is what the I'm talking about right there. That, that's what I'm talking about. That, Pregnancy test? Yeah. You not happy? Yeah, what you mean I'm not happy? I'm, what I'm be happy for? What, the, what, what, what could I possibly be happy for? Because we're having a baby. What are you talking about? Who, who have a baby? Listen here, woman. Stop playing with me because you know I, I got a protecting me. I can't even have no kids. Stop uh -oh. playing with me. You sound stupid coming in here. Don't I sound you? stupid? No, you Hell, sound like a nail. What you sound like a to me? Cheater? Yeah. I only been with you. What are you talking about? Who got you pregnant? I've only been with you. Who got you pregnant? You! How? How? Baby. I can't have no kids. You, I have a whole vasectomy. You, you, you do know after a certain period of time, you can it, it, it can happen again. No, it so can't. My is slip. It cannot happen again. My is slip. I can't have no kids. Women get their tubes tied after so many years. It can it can uh, turn back into one tube. You know what I'm talking I'm not, about. I'm not, bro. Listen here, bro. Same thing happens with men. I, I ain't been with nobody but you, so you can. That's go in that. impossible because I can't have no kids. I have a vasectomy. Well, you buy. What are you talking well, about? You I do everything for you. I, I take care of the house. I take care. You're holding a camera on me for what? Yeah, I'm holding a camera because I want to show how you ain't. That's why. I'm not. Yeah, you. Because 
son. It ain't no baby. It ain't no baby. And I know you. You got plenty opportunities. You got plenty opportunities. So you know I'm on the road with my job. My job. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go on the road with my job. I ain't never. Then why don't you take me with you? You and me work. Because you can't. I'm at work. I'm gonna take you with me. You can't you take you with those names either. What the I'm not putting the camera down. No, no, no. I'm not putting the camera down because that's some that you got. It's not yes, you bring the. Oh, who the dad? 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 I'm not the dad. Okay, so I had a whole vasectomy, so how the I'm gonna be the so dad? Who the father? So you're not who the father? Who is the father? So you need to tell me. Are who you the father? Are you not gonna take care of this child? It ain't mine. So I'm, I'm not taking care of no child. It's not mine. So now, Are you dumb? So now, Are you stupid? Now, so now I'm just you can't be that stupid thing. I'm going to take care of a baby that's not mine. Put the camera down and then talk to me as a man. You know what, bro? I'm not going to do this. He's hurt. I, I mean, I, of I, course. I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to do this. Do what? Yeah, man, because I do it. You know it's your fucking child. You know it's your fucking child. I know it's not my fucking child because I had a whole fucking sex. Damn, he's crying. And I swear to God, bro. Yeah, you out here sleeping around? 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 You're not gonna get an answer, man. Huh? If you want to talk to me, put the camera down. You I'm not. You're sitting here. I'm not. Crying. I'm not. You are a baby at yours. You should be smiling and being happy. Get the f out. Get the f out. Oh That's you all. You get the f out of my house right now. I'm playing, man. I'm pregnant and I'm not so man, yeah, you pray with somebody else, baby. They ain't mine. Get the f out. No, baby. Get the f out. I bet I'm not. You're not. I'm gonna grab all you. I'll grab all you and put you out but myself. Out yeah, I'll put you out. You and that f baby ain't mine. Get the f out of my house, man. No, no, it's not. All right, so I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna call the police and get the out of my house. Yeah, you got me. Up. Hey, listen, well, men are caught off guard with the reality of a cheating woman. And, you know, truth be told, it's men or women, but I think it especially hurts dudes. Men often lose control of their emotions and get angry, which is completely understandable. But please, gentlemen, listen to me when I say this. Do not let your emotions get you so off kiltered that you do something irresponsible or take actions that you may regret because your immediate emotional reaction has no benefit to you and it may take away your liberty. And the reason why I say this is because fun fact, it's possible to have kids after a vasectomy. Just a quick Google search and I'm sure you'll find a site just like this one. This one comes from American Pregnancy. Dot org is getting pregnant after vasectomy possible. Most reports indicate that following a vasectomy, a couple has less than a 1% chance of getting pregnant. Although the possibility of becoming pregnant following a vasectomy is low, the possibility is still there. So I know we talk all day about arguing and outliers, but in cases like this, if there's even at least a possibility, I think you should go and do your due diligence to understand before you do something as drastic as kick her out the crib. What would I do in this situation? I would go straight to the doctor and have them check my sperm count. And if it's anything above zero, then there is a possibility. Then I would wait until the birth happens and get a DNA test immediately. There's actually a way to do a DNA test while the baby is still in the womb, but is an invasive in nature and puts the baby at risk. So I would just wait till after if my count was anything above zero post vasectomy. But if you find out that your sperm count is absolutely zero, or if the baby's born, a DNA test comes back that it's not yours, then you know she's for the streets. And you move accordingly. Talk about Ezra or something. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Okay. Um, All right, so with, uh, I had, I had seen you know, how we go through the Twitter likes. It, it says right here 23K for her 23rd. Hey, we're going through my likes. I, I had seen like uh, this one song. Yeah. It, it's better than this one. Like, this call. Uh-oh, I'm scared. I think I know what this is, though. Lauren, do you know what this is? No, I don't. Okay. Are you from posting? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm in here. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, so. Sorry, I'm sorry. So that oh, that was all next. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This actually got like, so uh -oh. now he's that's in it. He's actually real. Dog. We all know what cute means. <laughs> oh, God. Are y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Okay. 
She don't look excited. That's what? That's what? <laughs> she look ungrateful. Twenty-three thousand dollars. Okay, okay. Let's let's wrap about this. Let's say I was in a relationship and I was giving my lady half of the average salary that a United States citizen makes in a year and one day. She better be way more excited than that. Because the way that she just acted within this video, he should have just gave her coal. Listen, this is something that wealthy men do for their wives, but to do this for your girlfriend? You see, the manipulative sister code as it exists today, compliments from city girls and the like, make young men feel inadequate until he has the opportunity to splurge on his young lady, whether she deserves it or not, but my G, you better not be spending $23,000 on her if you're still paying a car note or paying for an apartment. Think through this before the entire scent brigade comes at me. What does she do for you that is worth $23,000? This is why I tell young brothers so often is that until you get older, you begin to see the matrix that you are in, which is designed to make you a consumer, focus on investing into yourself. Focus on removing all of your debt. Focus on gaining a high income earning skill instead of investing into relationships. You could use that money for a down payment on a house, put it in your investment portfolio, but instead you choose to splurge it on someone who is clearly ungrateful. Isn't it crazy how men built the world for us and then mm -hmm. we shit on them as mm -hmm. a thank you? None of us are virgins anymore. Men value purity and youth, right? Modesty. And they're not getting that anymore. So do you think it's a fair deal for men when they're not getting that to be monogamous to us? To comprise on their mating strategy when we don't fulfill theirs because we're not virgins anymore? And like the truth is modern women are less pure than they've ever been. And we're older than we've ever been. So I'm asking, mm. do you think that's a fair deal for men when they have to be more and more less? Young virgins, mm. that's the that's the ideal. Just like our ideal is like rich men. Thing now in today's day and age, like women have higher standards at, at, than ever, but bring less to the table to the, than ever. We're older, we've slept with more people, and we have less loyalty because we're the ones leaving them. So I'm saying, do you that's think that's a fair deal for men? Isn't it crazy? No, no, it's not a damn fair deal for men. I mean, if you think about it, the marriage contract has not changed. It's remained the same since the beginning that there was a marriage contract. But men are coaxed into accepting lower value women than our forefathers. And we're shamed if we attempt to rationalize this uneven distribution of value. The nature of women have not changed within that same time frame. However, modern women today fail to connect their new way of behaving with their needs of their internal nature, which is why women with triple digit body numbers living free in their sexual liberation still expect marriage from a provider man. And at the same time, modern men today are shamed for having basic needs of getting consistent meals provided to them and a helping of wet, juicy innards on the side after a hard day of work. The putrid dogma of modern day feminism today has done a number in playing these women and in that process has destroyed the foundation or the fundamental value of nuclear families and at the same time enriching corporations. RIP to Kevin Samuels, but the number one thing that I have learned in watching his show is that women by and large, by the time that they get pregnant, do not want to work in the workforce, nor do they want to be responsible for a significant portion of the bills. So in reality, they actually want these things, but they will continue to cape for feminism and uphold these, I can do it all my own doctrine. But by doing so, they become victims or rather the collateral damage to consumerism as well as capitalism. Like, yes, it makes sense to sell everything that would make you unmarriageable because those things are popping or you go around singing, oh, that ninja a munch and all type of bullshit like this. But how really valuable does it make you? I started my day off with some Starbucks. I got the strawberry refresher and a bacon, egg and cheese Gouda. It's my absolute fave. Then I went grocery shopping. I just grabbed a few things to last like two days. I'll probably go grocery shopping again tomorrow. Clear when I got home, I grabbed some wine and I headed over to my workspace. 
I'm working on this project and it's turning out really, really great. So I'm really excited. My friend came over and we actually switched phones and like matched for each other on BLK. So that was really, really fun. Um, I let my cats. BLK? It looked like Tinder. Uh, I guess it's the same concept. I've not, I haven't heard of it before. Let's keep going. And like matched for each other on BLK. So that was really, really fun. Um, I let my cats in. I love them so much. This one right here is my oldest and that one is my youngest. She's getting ready. I then prepped dinner. My man said that he wanted pasta tonight and while he was at Did she say my man wanted, my man wanted pasta tonight? She was just swiping on that Tinder thing my youngest i then prepped dinner my man said that he wanted pasta tonight and while he was at work i went on a date the restaurant was really really nice great conversation and the food was delicious so i really did have a nice time when i got back home i finished up that pasta that i was working on earlier it was really really good um, and i served it to him for dinner we watched a movie and then we went to sleep what what <laughs> wait a minute Wait a minute, number one. Okay, I see why she's in this compilation now. <laughs> she's, she's for the... She's for the streets, okay? Uh, this, okay, let me call this one out first. So, outside of the obvious, <laughs> but... She had two dinners, all right? I was seeing earlier, I wasn't going to comment that, but she was putting a lot of pressure on those, on those clear heels. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> she had a pizza dinner... And then she had the, uh, the, the, what she made over here, the pasta. You know how much carbs that is? This is the bullshit. Y'all want to come over here and talk about, accept us body positivity, but, you, but you're living free in your carbonation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if, you were, if you were a transformer, your name would be the carbonator, okay? <laughs> Relax over there, mama. And for two, I guess you're in an open relationship. You're over here swiping on one app. You got a man at home, and then you're going out and dating after that? Holy moly. This is, <laughs> like, oh, my God. Is this the end of times? Is this, is this it? Is, is this it? Are we, are we on the way towards the sun right now? <laughs> is this it? This is how women are living in the Western society. I guess I'm just so confused. Like, why live with a man that you call your man and then you're out actively dating. Is this like an open relationship? Is this what y'all agree to? I just, from my perspective as a man, I just can't fathom why you would want to do that and why you're living with a woman that's out getting porked down by other dudes, dating other dudes. For the life of me, I will never understand it. But listen, all of you open relationship people, get in my comment section, help us understand, all right? <laughs> I'm going to assume that you're a woman making these kinds of comments no you see from you're trying to appease to men with your pg playing the pity card for them no one addresses men scrutiny condemnation only of women what i can tell see what she says there are tons and tons of pages out there bashing dads yes i just don't want to be one of them thanks i don't feel the need to bash dads i felt the need to tell the truth about a lot of moms and apparently that's really bothering you. Yes. I don't have to do what you do, okay? I don't have to be a simp. I don't have to sit there and suck every mom's tit just because she's a mom, okay? No. I know a lot more trashy, bad moms out there than I know dads. And it just so happens that that's what I talk about on my page. Because it's my motherfucking page. Yeah, you can do what you want. So if you don't like what I talk about, if then, you don't yeah, like leave. the fact that I stand up for dads, go somewhere else. It's you know what's interesting about this? You know, I um I took a branding class when I was back and getting my um, MBA. And the concept of a brand, you know, as such attached to different words and the impact within that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, for example, the brand of a mother, Right. I can't think of any other stronger brands on this planet. <laughs> the branding of becoming mother today, one of the strongest, most impactful, most important. Think about all the products. Think about all the money. Think about all the right that all of these companies uh, generate from from this positive brand representation of a mom, of a mother. Now, it's not to say that it should be negative. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying. 
Now take the branding of a mother and compare that to the branding of a father one of which they don't even consider fathers to be an important role in a young person's life within the development. The studies show us something incredibly differently, okay? But the branding has not caught up to the studies. But the branding of mother seems to supersede pure reality and pure logic of things that are actually happening out in the world. Let's keep going. It's that easy. I keep telling everybody that. If you don't like what I'm saying, Scroll on. My page is talking truths about the things that go on in family court. Everything I, I talk like about on my page is 100% true. I've either witnessed it myself because I've gone through it for 20 years. I've been sitting in on courtrooms, watching other cases, seeing how judges rule on cases mm. to help my own, to help my fiance's case. Mm. I Google everything I possibly can. I read legislation. I read everything I can about child support. And they call her pick me probably. I'm smarter than your average bear. And I use that knowledge to help men. I don't do it for likes. I don't do it simply because I want men to like me. I don't give a fuck. I got a man. I do it because somebody needs to help them because they aren't being heard. And I'm a loud mouth motherfucking redhead. Big shout out to her. You can sense within the way that she speaks is that it comes straight from her heart. And the thing is, is like dudes look at videos like this and um, how do I say this? Many dudes just want to just feel supported. We've gone so long feeling like we don't matter. So to see women get on platforms and say, no, you do matter. And here's the receipts of me demonstrating how I know that you do matter. Right. Talking about she's fighting for, you know, with help of, you know, for her fiance that has issues going on. Right. Um, I think it's very important. I think it's very important that we have these platforms to be able to talk about uh, how men are important, how men do matter. <laughs> Guy does DNA test behind baby mother's back, finds out the kid isn't his. Let's watch. You can buy from CVS? Yeah. I know that. What possession you I mean, some, some, a, a good source told me, he was just like, you know, like, check it out, you know, something you're seeing right here. Yeah, and, you know, I didn't believe him. I just did it, you know. Hoping he was wrong. Mm. No, seriously, I'm telling you. I'm like, hoping uh -oh. he was wrong. Oh, my and, God. And, and it came back, it came, oh, came back negative. Negative? Yeah, it came back negative. Sorry, it's is your child. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, that, 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 that just cannot be right. Like, it's not right. It, it, it's not right. Why, it's why not right, right at all. It's like, not right. Well, I, I mean, I, I didn't see the test. How would I even know that a test even exists? What does that have to do with anything? Like, you could be just saying it. Like, so show it to her. I'm just saying what? Like, what, what you trying to do? I, I'm just saying what? Well, I'm, 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 I'm just making it up. Look, look at this. Hold on. What, what is that? I don't know. You could be. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? What is this saying? Exactly. DNA Diagnostic Center? What is this? It's a fucking DNA test. What? I'm, I'm so sorry. Why the fuck did you do this? It's a DNA test. But why? It's a Babe, DNA test. Why did you do this? It's a DNA wow. test. Why would you check? I've been taking care of for three, right three years. Do and you're it. telling me you're not going to you don't. It doesn't that's matter. Bullshit. Ain't nobody that's bullshit. That's bullshit. I mean, no, 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 no. Don't say, don't, don't say, don't say. No, I don't want to listen to anything. I don't want to listen to anything. She is your child. This is not right. You can say whatever you want to say. The DNA, the thing said 0.6. It's not even close to being close. It's not even. I don't care. Uh, oh, uh, like, you really, really want to go through the embarrassment of me taking a test 
look to, to the doctor and, and seeing how stupid you're gonna look in front of them. You wow. ain't gonna do it. You're fing sick for the day. You, you, you know what the fuck? Who, 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 who's a real child? Who's a real child? I don't care what this says. Who's a real child? I don't care. Who's a real dad? I don't care about what you're saying right now. You're a liar. Like, disgusting. I don't care about this. This is not real. This is not real. Open the glove court. Just open it. Open the glove court. That's, that's the one, that's what I purchased, I, I bought that three days ago. Oh my god. You know, yeah. Why the hell would you do this? Because Wait a minute, notice the propensity of a sociopath. Even when they get caught red-handed, with pure and utter deception, they will gaslight you to make you think that you did something wrong. From her answers alone, you already know that she's a liar. Her response to this is why would you even do this? As if him double checking based off of some information is a weird thing for him to do. That's how sociopaths think. They're fishing for weakness. Because you're lying. I, 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 I had to make sure. Oh now you're doing that to so oh, another test? No, you're bullshit. Three years. First and foremost, shout out to the brother for actually recording this. I think although he's going through an incredible situation, it's an absolute godsend that we can all watch this situation because the impact of paternity fraud is real. At the end of the day, paternity tests should be made mandatory. When you consider this concept of paternity fraud, just think about what a woman has to go through. Each month, there's about a week that they can get pregnant. So within that week time frame, you slipped and tripped on another eggplant and you know that you did. So when you become pregnant and the doctor tells you about the time period that you get pregnant, you make a conscious and a willing decision to lie to not only the baby's father, but everybody around you who the father is. This is not a mistake as what they would allow you to believe a Mori on some shit like that. These women are filthy and disgusting if they choose to do this. They don't care. If she doesn't care, then you need to care. What's so crazy is that as she's lying through her teeth like this, she didn't even flinch. Like if you were to walk up and watch these two arguing, you would generally assume, if you know the context of the conversation, that she was telling the truth. That's how much of a committed sociopathic liar that some of these women are. And if you don't choose to protect yourself, then no one else will. My ex cheated on me, so I fucked his mom. Whoa! <laughs> what? I fuck with you. I did it! You fucked his mom? I fucked his mom. Was the pussy fire? She was fine as fuck. Listen, I'm pansexual, so anybody can get it. Can get it. <laughs> Of the four and a half women that continue to watch this channel, understand this. If a guy say, if you say something like that, that has to do with how you utilize your insides, and then we then follow up and we say some shit like, we quit you. We're not saying that because like we like you as people, right? Like you gotta understand that. <laughs> we're not we're not saying that because we're like, oh, one day she might be of marriageable material. Like, yeah, like she's messing up in life right now, but then eventually, right? she'll be making better decisions with herself as well as her body. That's not what we're thinking. You gotta understand that, right? But when we say we with you, we're saying that from the perspective of a lonely night might come and we're gonna look into our call log and hit up the next available for the street participator that we see, okay? That's what it's for. This is insane though. She's living in her free spiritness and her pansexuality, whatever the hell that that shit is. Let's keep going. <laughs> No, f with you. I f with me too. Word, no, f with you. Wow, I, you, I didn't expect you to. You, you won't when you're 50 and alone, but let's keep going. Say that. F his mom. Gangster. Woo, woo. Oh, Jesus. Everyone who is listening to this channel, listen up. There is nothing more dangerous than a woman scored because this young lady, irrespective of how she felt about the mother, still went for the man's mother out of revenge. 
revenge. Instead of upgrading her life, doing better for herself, making better decisions, making herself much more of relationship or marriage material, she went in and scissored the mother. And for the mother, you are nasty. You are disgusting. Of all of the relationships that you could partake in, you take in one with your son's ex? Ew, control yourself. This large mouth young lady, as well as the young man's mother, are for the gutter, they're for the sewers, they're for the streets, they're for the intergalactic super mega highway. Thought levels are over 9,000. <laughs> she really expected her to accept her side, dude. What? Excuse me? Happy birthday. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Happy birthday. Oh, shit. Happy birthday. Hold up, hold up, hold up before this continues. Hold up. Back this up. Is she... Is she telling him to move over? I'm assuming that this guy right here is the boyfriend and then the one in the green shirt um, who just gave her a hug and I believe a kiss um, is trying to sit, sit next to the to the boyfriend and she's telling him to move over as the birthday song is going? No. Say it ain't so, modern woman. We just cool, brother. No problem. Oh, what? Wait, are you oh, yeah, like, so we sit next to her. Happy birthday. No, I'm good. No, you're not taking the bag. Look at no, Daniel, stop. You'll get the bag. No, you're not getting the bag. You're not getting no stop. Daniel, no, 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 <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is real. Look at, look. <laughs> Yo, to to sum up, to sum up the way. Look at, look. <laughs> Yo. Oh, oh, shout out to South Park. Sh screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> I would do the same shit. How how dare you? How dare you invite someone who has pillaged your insides previously to your birthday dinner now? We're just friends. We're just bullshit. Ain't no such thing. You're not just friends. You know why? Because friends don't go inside you. That's where the friendship ends, okay? That's when it ends. Especially in a relationship right now, if I communicate to you that I am not comfortable with that, you should respect that. So crazy, he had the Dior sitting out on the table. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, my brother. Uh -huh. I feel you. But this, this is what you call the ultimate shit testing. He passed with flying colors, right? He didn't get mad at the guy. The guy's just playing his role. But you got to get mad at who you need to hold responsible in that situation. And that's allowing... <laughs> <laughs> she was doing like, scoot over, scoot, scoot. The nerve. As if dinner could not get any better, the guy in the white tee finds his wife on a date after saying she was out with the girls. Let's watch. What? What's going on? What's about? This is my wife. She's out to dinner with you. Telling me lies about what she did. Yeah, you make me so I'll be the friend of my wife. Yo, imagine getting on bed to need to get married, creating a family, having kids, and then having to babysit said kids while your wife is out at dinner 
trying to get her viscous innards plundered. But shout out to the gentleman in the white tee. I think that you handled the situation fantastically. As stoic as what a stoic man should be in a situation like this. But I'm surprised the other guy didn't leave when finding out that the young thought that he is with is married, which points to that this is a long-standing relationship as opposed to just a random date. And what's crazy about this is that the guy in the white t-shirt is probably gonna try to stay. Meanwhile, she'll go out and file divorce and get all the kids and child support and probably alimony as well. The system that we're in is sick and twisted. But this trumpet really thought that she wouldn't get caught, but every dog has its day. We know the history of this country. There's not a place in this country where we don't belong. Mm. So I walk in everywhere like I belong. Oh. If I have the credentials, if I have the, if I have what everybody else has, I'll have what everybody else has. Facts. Let me say that again. Yeah. If I have what everybody else has, I'll have what everybody else is having. By any That's means. I want for you to start looking at yourself like you belong. Facts. What I see is so many black men who have the, the ability, the potential. But when even that broadcast I did the other day, I had some guy to get in the comment section, talk about young brother, you know, don't 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 ever think that, you know, you go in these rooms and these people are gonna look it's at limiting. you. It's limiting. I could give a how F these people look at me. Facts. I know how I look at myself. I belong. All this bougie shit that we feel like other people can have, but we gotta have the fucking leftovers and the chitlins of the world. Fuck that. Fuck that. You get lobster too. Facts. And then you can still go eat a two piece and a biscuit. You belong there. Don't give them the comfort of security of your absence. Mm. Don't make it easy for them. Facts. Big if facts. If they have those kind of limiting beliefs, Put your black ass in the room and make them recognize yeah. your gangster. Outwork them. Do not self-segregate yourself to make somebody else feel comfortable. Uh, take what's yours. Take Don't it. Don't ask for it. Take it. <sighs> Once you finally realize this is where your life and you get to make it, then you have to get competitive. And then you got to get yep. aggressive. Yep. Yeah, you got to get in the fight. Because they ain't yep. going to give it to you. Yep. Power is not given. It is taken. Uh. Taken. Taken. Uh. You can't appeal to somebody's nature or whatever. You take no, it from you them. take it. What I tell yep. you, fighting and fucking, what are you fighting for? Everything out here Bars. has somebody coming from another country to come get that piece of it. You uh. were born here. There is no place here you can't go. So what's stopping you? Damn, I really miss this, brother. What's crazy is that our personal conversations would be in the same vein. You belong. Take what's yours. Don't let any limiting beliefs of anything that you have within your life, the imposter syndrome, this, the I don't think that I should be achieving that, or they all look different than me, that. Who cares? Who cares? If I held on to my limiting beliefs, I wouldn't have had a YouTube channel. Through all of the distractions, the detractors, and the bullshit that I've had to deal with, the loss of sponsorships, to everything that I had to deal with, even the loss of friends or women that I've had in my life that just say, how could you talk like this? If I believed in any of that shit, I would not be here today, but I forced myself to be successful. I forced myself to be recognized. I forced myself to be respected. I didn't ask for shit. Kevin didn't ask for shit. He created value. What value are you creating? But here's what I learned from Kevin is that either you can speak your own truth or speak from your own reality or you can follow someone else's voice that you don't even agree with or pick goals dreams or ambitions that were never yours to begin with that is the equation to set yourself up for complete mediocrity but see kevin operated in a mindset of abundance limiting beliefs victim mentality and not being competitive is the death of a masculine man. And what's crazy is think of how old Kevin is right here. He was probably about 50 years old with more grit and determination with what you see with a lot of young cats that have given up. Work hard, my Gs. You can stumble, but never stay down. Accept failure, but believe that you can be great, but put in the work to ensure greatness. Stop. And lying so, to yourself. Uh, so, like, oh, I can't have sex without being emotionally tired. Dude, I can fuck you and literally not think about you the next day. Stop exactly. giving yourself that wait, much wait, credit. But no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let go, let go. Why, why can you do that? 
Why? The same reason you guys can, because I'm exactly. not in tune with myself. That's most, why. Most <laughs> women don't behave that way. So when they, when a most woman, women, does, oh, let me finish. When a woman does, and she's a, even though a man can, and he's a, it's different for you than it why? is for it's me. Why? Because emotionally, why? those women, we want a woman that can emotionally bond with us, not one that's been a who can't later on. So, okay. 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 so it's on. different. Let me, let, me, let me say this. They are more likely <laughs> to <laughs> leave you, hey. according to psychology <laughs> studies, a woman with Cheers more than 10 bodies yeah. has a higher <laughs> no rate way. of divorce with a man, according to psychologist.com. You know, I believe Brittany when she says that she can give up her innards to giant athletes and rappers and feel nothing afterwards. It's just so crazy to me because if she did not have this thought, Gene, if she was able to marry degrees of her femininity with what she looks like based on her aesthetics alone, let's, not, let's take femininity out of it, she would be the wife of a CEO sitting pretty without a feminine care in the world. But this is where Beyonce's advice from before doesn't help modern women today because living in her own life has embroiled into documented promiscuity and showing her hindquarters all across the internet which would then disqualify her from said ceo she is the definition of terrain wreck for all 25.1 women that listen to the content on this channel focus on the outcomes miss renner has successfully gained a reputation of being a 304 and is proud of it as per this video is a single mother living on $2,500 in child support has a tarnished reputation from publishing a book documenting her promiscuity and her entanglements but guess what she's living her life right and what's worse is that she'll have modern women all in her comment section when she releases the next psychological meltdown akin to a nuclear chernobyl disaster Brittany, get some help i really hate it when men are like if i'm paying all the bills then you should at least be cooking and cleaning the house i should come home to a meal um miss ma'am if your man is paying all the bills he absolutely should be coming home to a homemade warm meal waiting for him on the table when he is ready to eat and not only that his house should be spotless and you should be very appreciative Love of it. it, waiting for him at the door, looking your best, ready to give him that Gawk Gawk 3000 throat goat. Oh, but carry on. Just real quick. Notice the mannerisms. Notice the femininity. Um, and the difference between both of these women or even the women, the woman I just went over in the first video as well. Notice the difference it is a clear difference her image her likeness the way that she speaks her softness will do her much better fair much better than the other images the other softness or hardness the other words that they are using right but they'll call her a pick me she'll get picked if i wasn't here you would still be paying the bills <laughs> <laughs> the things that you do yeah. that you consider is for our marriage you would be doing if you were single ma'am it's a standard math equation what's one plus one two two it costs more there's one extra person one extra mouth to feed there's a cost associated with that Ugh. Okay. Yes, you're correct. As an adult, we have to pay bills. Please save but us. But if you have a man that is paying bills and you are now included in that man's life, those bills multiply. So I don't really understand where you're coming from when you're saying that he would have Thank to you. pay bills regardless if you're there or not. You are an added expense. Yes. And again, he is paying all the bills. Where is your appreciation for that? Thank you. But again, carry on. When you get benefits from your job, I don't really get those benefits. You do. If that is completely that's not true. incorrect. Well, if, if you, you are if you're single. actually- If you're married, you get the benefits. A wife of yes. a man that is receiving benefits, you are privy to those benefits. You are privy to his insurance. You're privy to his 401k. You're privy to all of those things. Yes. So I, again, 
don't understand where you're coming from, but he is paying all of the bills. Do you see what I'm saying? He literally is paying all of the bills. He's providing you with benefits. Carry on. Your check don't come to me. So therefore I don't give a damn about how much you work. Now, while his hardworking check may not come in your name as it should not, you are still benefiting from his money. He is providing a roof over your head. He is providing food on your table. He is providing yes. you and him a lifestyle right. that you would not have if he was not paying all of your bills. Exactly. So I don't understand I... your quarrel, but go ahead. Because you was working before and you're going to be working after you met me. I don't care how much you work. A hard working man is nothing for me. Because you're going to work hard with or without me. So let me get this straight. You said a hard working man is nothing for you. A hard working man that pays all the bills is nothing for you. So what type of man is for you? What type of man are you looking like for? Her. Because I'm kind of confused. Go ahead. What are you doing for me? Nothing. That's why I don't do nothing for y'all. So you basically... I am allergic to her. <laughs> this is... Oh! I like her though. Come on, let's keep going. We said, even though he's a hardworking man and pays all the bills, you still don't do anything for them. What are you bringing to the table? It can't just be your looks and your vagina because everybody has one of those. What are you bringing to the table? And what actually do you think that you are deserving of? A headache As a mother brings. of two sons, I dare a woman like you to try to walk into their lives. It's not happening. In fact, I have a feeling that you are going to be single for the rest of your life. Good luck. She, she would mess those children up. But listen, this is what eight generations of 304 logic does. So they come on the internet and spew literally monuments of nothingness to get copium through their other Super Saiyan bonnet adorners and then return to their miserable lairs. That's gotta be truly a low and sad life. But shout out to the young mama right here that really came through <laughs> and addressed the mental illness. So what's out further ado? Shut the new beers like we in charge. charge no cap with the rappers like steel balls. I'm packing and rapping like here we are. Here we are. Mediocre tutorial reviews. Like, comment, share my views. Come up and I pay my dues. Big step in my black way shoes. MTR. He break it down. Yeah, it's MTR. Check out the sound when it's MTR. No one put it down like it's MTR. Uh.